So are you ready for your workout? Great. Before we begin, I do want to tell you about some critical connections that are important to focus on throughout the workout today. With Pilates being a mind-body exercise, it's important to connect the mind and the body in the certain exercises and movements. So first of all, we're going to get into our Pilates stance, bringing our heels together and our toes about one hand's width apart. Stand up nice and tall. Focus on drawing your inner thighs together, zipping those inner thighs. Pull your glutes back by opening up those hips and draw the belly button in as if it's attached to a string and being pulled behind your back. Ribs are funneled in. Just relax your arms and let them hang down and relax the shoulders and then pull the shoulder blades back as if you're cracking a walnut with your scapula. So this is proper posture, believe it or not. It might feel a little awkward, but this is proper posture. So I want you to keep this in mind, keep these critical connections um, as your focus throughout the workout today. So you're lying on your back with your legs hip width apart. We're gonna do imprinting. I want you to focus on connecting everybody your spine to the mat. Open up the chest, flip the palms up to the ceiling, and really relax the shoulder blades into the mat. Connect even the lower back into the mat. Now flip the palms down and keep that chest open. Now go ahead and put the hands on your rib cage for breathing. As I mentioned earlier, breathing is a big part of uh, Pilates. It's really important to breathe through the diaphragm. We're going to breathe in through the nose for the count of five and out through the nose for the count of five. So inhale, really fill up those lungs and exhale, bring the lungs out completely. Inhale for the count of five, and as you exhale, drop that belly button down into the mat. Inhale, and as you exhale, melt your spine into the mat like chocolate. Last time, inhale, and exhale. Now make a diamond with your fingers. And the lower part of the diamond is on the pubic bone and the top of the diamond is just below or on the navel. This is called iso abs. We're really going to focus in on the lower abs, the transverse abdominal abs. And as we inhale, I want you to think about drawing the lower part of the diamond in and up and exhale, go back to a neutral pelvis. Inhale, I want you to think about buttoning up the three buttons, the pubic bone area, in between the pubic bone and the navel, as well as the navel. Those are your three buttons that I want you to zip up each time. So inhale, draw it in and up, and exhale, release. Last time, inhale and exhale. Great work. Arms are long to your side. We're gonna tabletop the legs for the hundred. So you wanna have your legs nice and tight together and the calves up as if you can balance a tray right on the top of your legs. Pull the chin to the chest, looking at the belly, and the arms are going to start pumping like you're dribbling two basketballs. We're going to inhale for the count of five, and exhale for the count of five. Inhale for five, and exhale for five. Just the tips of the shoulder blades are touching. You're curling up as much as you can, and drawing those abs in and up. Squeezing those inner thighs. Inhale for the count of five, and exhale for the count of five. Keep it moving. 
Drop that belly button down deeper into the mat. Inhale for the count of five. And exhale. Two more sets. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Legs go long. Arms are up to the ceiling for the roll-up. I want you to take your arms back slightly, keeping the ribs funneled in. And we're going to take the arms up to the ceiling. Take a chin to chest. Curl the tailbone under and peel yourself off of the mat, reaching past the toes, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Pull that belly button in and roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Arms are up, back up, chin to chest. Peel by pressing through the heels. Reach it forward, pull that belly in. Shoulders are relaxed from the ears and roll it down bone by bone. And again, arms go back, up, chin to chest, nice and slow, peel yourself off the mat, reach it forward, pull the belly in, and slowly roll it down. Last time, make this your best one yet. Chin to chest, roll it up, keep the chest open, reach it forward, Pull the belly in and roll it down. Arms come long to the side, right leg up to the ceiling for one-legged circle. Although the right leg is going to be doing the work in terms of making the circle, I want you to really keep that opposite leg that's on the mat very active. So we have our Pilates stance in this leg, and I want you to focus on drawing the inner thighs together. We're going to press to the balls of the feet and take it across the body, down and up. Across, down, and reach. We're lengthening up each time. Two more. I want you to connect your lower back to the mat. Hips are steady. Reverse it. Take it down, around, and up. If your hips are moving around, go ahead and take it a, a smaller range of motion. Three more, two, last one. Scissor the legs to switch. Left leg comes up. We're drawing the inner thighs together, pressing through the balls of the feet as you take it across, down, and up. Across, down, and reach the balls of the feet. Take it across and lift. Keep those hips steady. Drop that belly button down into the mat. Last one. And reverse it. Take it around, down, and up. Draw those inner thighs together. Inhale and exhale. Three more. Two. Last one. Leg comes down and slowly sit up for rolling like a ball. Hands are at the hips. We're going to lift the seat to the feet and put the hands around the ankles. Balancing the toes off of the mat. We're carving the belly out like a C-curve. Chest is open. You're looking down at the abs here and really rounding the back and balancing on the back of the sits bones. So staying in that position, you're going to balance as far back on the sits bones as you can until you lose your balance and rock back to the shoulder blades and come back up and balance. And again, rock it back and come back up and balance. So the focus is to stay looking at the abs and pull the heels to the seat. And let's do two more and come back up and balance. Last one and balance. Great work. Hands at the hips. Lift your seat back up to the middle of the mat. And we're going to bring the right knee into the chest. Take the opposite arm across the knee and other hand at the ankle, and the left leg is pressed out. We're curling up, looking at the abs, so just the tips of the shoulder blades are touching, keeping the chest open. We're gonna pull, pull, and switch. Pull it in tight, reach it out long, and switch. Inhale and exhale. Keep it moving, single leg stretch. Inhale and exhale. 
Stay curled up. Pull it in tight, reach it out long. Last set for double leg stretch. We're gonna bring both knees into the chest and take the arms and legs out long at the same time. Zipping those inner thighs together, circle the arms around, bring the knees into the chest. And again, inhale and circle around and bring it in as you exhale. Keep it moving, zip those inner thighs, wrap the seat and circle around and in. Two more. And in. Take the arms to the ears, zip the inner thighs and bring it in for a single straight leg. Legs are up to the ceiling in a scissor pose. We're going to pull at the back of the calf and switch. So it's pull, pull, switch, pull, pull, switch. Brushing those inner thighs together. The toes are in Pilates stance. Inhale and exhale. Three more each side. We're curled up looking at the abs. Last set. For double straight leg. Hands are behind the head. Heels are together. Legs are zipped up. And we're going to lower, lower, lower and lift with the lower abs. Lower, lower, lower and lift with the belly. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Lower, lower, lower and lift. Zip those inner thighs and lift into crisscross. Opposite knee and elbow connect. We're going to pull it in tight, reach it out long and switch. Looking at that back elbow behind you and switch. We're curled up. Again, the tips of the shoulder blades are touching. Inhale and exhale. Three more. Two. And last one. And go ahead and give yourself a break. Pull the knees into the chest. Great work on the abs series. Sit up for spine stretch forward. Legs are hip width apart. Arms are reaching forward. We're sitting up nice and tall against a wall. Shoulders are plugged in. You feel opposition here where you're reaching along with the fingertips, but the shoulder blades are connected. Belly button is pulled in. And inhale. And as you exhale, take it forward, pulling the belly button back. And then stack it up nice and tall as you inhale. I want you to think about having a porcupine on your lap. You don't want your belly to touch it. So you're going to inhale. And as you reach it forward, pull that belly in as you exhale. And stack it up nice and tall. And again, inhale, reach it forward. Really connecting the backs of the legs by flexing those feet. Two more. Inhale. And exhale as you pull the belly in and reach it forward. Last one. Take it forward and plug those shoulders in as you bring it up. Open leg rocker prep. We're going to pull the heels into the seat. You're holding on at the ankles. Chest is nice and open. You're pressing out onto the inner thighs with your arms, but pulling your legs in nice and tight. The knees are shoulder width apart. We're going to lift the right leg up into a straight leg, hold, and then bring it back. Lift the left leg up and down, right leg up and down. We have a C curve in the tummy and chest is nice and open. Last time each side. Left and down. Now we're going to bring both legs up, pulling into the center line. Hold it here. We're going to let go of the ankles and balance. Hold it here and bring the legs together, arms long to your side for corkscrew.